Hi Taurus and welcome back to my channel. Whether you are a Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or however Taurus may show up on your astrological natal chart, these messages are for you. And today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what would your no contact ex say now if they could. However, this no contact ex, whether this is a separation, breakup, or divorce, these messages here are are for you. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexa Tarot, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. For those of you who are interested in learning, uh, wanting to learn more about me, my client testimonial, or my credentials, just take a look down below in the description box and click on that credentials link. And if you would love to follow me on my social media platforms, you could just take a look underneath my banner and take a look at my social media platforms there. And uh, I'm mostly on Instagram, followed up by, ooh, what just popped out of the deck? Blockages, self-sabotaging thoughts, issue. Whoa. Okay, Taurus, I haven't even started the reading yet. It's popping out, but no worries. We'll talk about these in a minute. I'm just going to put them here on the side. <laughs> Um, for those of you who are my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike, I want to thank each and every one of you for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. As you know, these are all free channeled messages. And the only thing I ask in return is if you could please give me a thumbs up, like, uh, share, or subscribe so that I know that you are enjoying these free channeled messages. And if you haven't done so already, Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on your uh, content upload or whenever I go live on my live stream, okay? Well, um, Chorus, message is already popping up here for you. I feel that this, because um, the energy is coming in, like I'm doing the, an intro and I'm, and I'm getting messages right away. This person really has a deep desire and longing to speak to you. Now, whether they admit that to themselves or not, um, there's this energy here of, I mean, you guys saw the moment I was like shuffling, it came out, you know, cards, you know, flew out of the deck very quickly. So let's look at the first one that popped out. It said uh, blockages, self-sabotage, self uh, issues, unhealthy habits. Okay, so that's what popped out of the deck. We also have here seeds of renewal or spring, and they have redesign. Things are shifting, realigning, and adjusting. And I feel that this person... Yeah, I feel that this person, um, now, by the way, with every other, um, with every other sign, I was using this first, but for whatever reason in your, um, reading here, your no contact X, what they would say now, if they could, th this deck is the one um, that wants to pop out first. What I'm feeling here is that there could have been here some unhealthy habits uh, on or blockages or self sabotaging thoughts, limited beliefs here regarding or connected to your no contact acts because that is the first card that popped out of the deck, right? And what they wish they could say to you now in retrospect, right? In hindsight, 2020. For some of you, this was the past or the recent past. For others of you, this may have been a longer amount of time. However, this may resonate in, in regards to the length of time. I'm getting that whatever these unhealthy habits, blockages, self-sabotaging thoughts, or limited beliefs may have been, are they are either working through whatever this was or is, okay? Because this is about, things are shifting, they're redesigning, they're realigning, they're adjusting. So there's something here about things moving here. And there could have been things here, of course, that you may have said or spotted. And maybe you brought light to these blockages, these issues, these unhealthy habits. And I'm feeling here, Chorus, that if they could speak to you now, they would like to tell you how either how they've outgrown, how they're working on, how they are working through this area right here. Okay, these blockages, these unhealthy habits, these issues. 
For some of you, I'm getting that this person had either issues with self-regulating or self, um, you know, uh, moderation here of something. Or maybe an old pattern of behavior here, a reoccurring old pattern here. But whatever this is or was, while there was a connection here, Taurus, with you, is as if something is getting better or they're improving or they're being more in a, their, their awareness of this. The moment there was this breakup, separation, or divorce here, it's like they are figuring something out. They were able to connect the dots. It says seeds renewal in spring. And if your no contact ex could speak to you now, they would, some of you I'm getting here, there's like a new chapter. Now, this is coming in two avenues here. There could be a new chapter this person is going through and they wish that they can talk about or tell you about the things that have changed or have improved, okay, in their lives or in these, either these areas or an area here that could have been at the center or the foundation here of this breakup, separation, or divorce. So that's one of the messages that I'm getting. The second message that I'm getting here is if this no contact ex could speak to you now, they would talk about, they wish they could talk about how to start something brand new, okay? How they could, you know, a new beginning or restart here is how this energy is coming across, all right? Let's see what else comes through here in regards to this no contact X for Taurus, no contact X for Taurus. If they could say something to Taurus, what would they say right now at this moment in time? Ooh, unclear. Wow, interesting. Aligns to that first. I'll talk about that in a minute. Let's, let me talk about it right now because it's coming across like, I'm telling you this person this person, you are on their mind, either on and off, even if it's, for some of you, it's like, you know, a long time, right? Or for others of you, it's like a, a recent um, breakup, separation, or divorce. But this person has you on their mind. Because there's this sense here of like wanting to, like the cards are just coming out with this force, with this sense of like, you know, it's popping out like I have so much to say and I just haven't either had the courage, haven't had the ability to push my pride aside or having, you know, something here that's a blockage still. And for some of you, that may be the case. This person just has a lot to say. They just haven't had the, you know, whatever, fill in the blank to actually reach out to you, whatever that blank is <laughs> you want to fill it with, right? Whatever word, but it says unclear. I don't know how I feel about this connection anymore. And what I'm getting here, and especially with the fact that it popped out right, the first card of this deck and the first card of this deck, I'm getting here this link that whatever this blockage was in the past or recent past, whatever this self-sabotaging thought, limited belief, um, unhealthy habit, old pattern of behavior, whatever this um, vibrational energy that was... Um, present here there was lower vibrational energy within this connection chorus that they had with you there this was causing some type of confusion or this here was causing it's as if this was the root cause of why they were um a little bit off kilter here in regards to the manner in which they were either thinking or the manner in which they acted upon something here or said something here. I don't know how I feel about this connection anymore. 
And I feel it has a lot to do with the connection of this um, unhealthy habit or limited belief here. Okay. That was causing some type of like, I'm getting like static here in their mind or in their heart. Let's see what else is coming through here in regards to this no contact X. If they could speak to Taurus, now what would they say if they could? Let's see what else is coming across here. They have, you're mysterious. I can never seem to figure you out. Sometimes I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know where I stand with you. Okay. Now, what's interesting is I'm a Taurus myself. I'm a Taurus son. And um, what I'm getting here with this energy, Taurus, is that there could be here this sense that they felt, okay, that there were parts of you or emotions that you truly didn't share, okay, or that you just didn't show some type of level of vulnerability here okay that doesn't mean that you didn't feel something here it just means that you weren't showing it so perhaps this person didn't quite understand your personality so to speak and what they may have thought was you being mysterious was you actually tapping in to that taurus patience of dealing with the blockages, self-sabotaging thoughts, limited belief, or unhealthy habits or old patterns of behavior that this person had not cleared. And so that could have been the perception here to your no contact ex as if you were out of either touch emotionally or that you were a little bit reserved or a little bit introspective, whether this was, you know, on and off, whether there were times where, you know, these blockages weren't creating some type of obstacle, then things were a little bit more warmed up, more lovey-dovey. But I feel when this unclearing was here, there is a sense here that this person, um, you know, may not have understood how you were managing their situations here or the blockages within the connection here okay so if they wish they could say something to you now they would say listen there were moments here i quite couldn't understand where you were either emotionally and that's one thing that sometimes people don't understand about tauruses we're practical okay so we have a very kind of practical way down to earth, um, very honest, raw way of communicating, of even showing our love, right? Like the fact that we are present in a connection and the fact that we are the ride or die and we will weather the storm with you is like, that is, you know, that is a, a clear evidence that, you know, there is unconditional love there. But that doesn't mean that everyone can see it or will see it in that way, right? So there were, there are things here that this person wishes they can say, and that one of those things being they wish that they can um, explain to you how that um, affected them or how they viewed it, right? All right, let's take a look here at the next um, message here in regards to this person. There's no contact acts, and they have still listening. I listen to the music you've shared with me. It helps me to connect with you, although we are apart. Music here being something of a connection here so even though this no contact x there's no contact you haven't heard from him or her or them or you you haven't reached out to them they haven't reached out to you so this individual here there's no contact x either there's a special song that they liked 
that reminds them of your connection or a song that you liked that they listen to still that connects them to you. And they wish that they can talk to you about how when they feel that vast distance between the both of you, how they feel a little closer is by either intentionally playing the song or when the universe, uh, just coincidences of life, that they listen or hear that song. And remember that I said to you that this person in, in one of the messages, I gave you two, right, about this renewal, that some of them wish they can turn back the hands of time. There's a sense here that when they listen to that, they, they are aware of how deep you love or loved them. So you're not as mysterious after all if they were to listen to the music or read the cards or read the taxes or read um, the emails or listen to audio recordings of you or whatever. So, you know, there's a part of them here that's like, yeah, they, you, you, you are in their memory, okay? You are in their field of reminiscing. I wouldn't be surprised here if um, that comes out here with another card, reminiscing or thinking of you. So they still listen or they still read or they still watch because I'm getting here pictures as well. So either old pictures of either both of you together, of you. All right, let's see what else is coming through here in regards to this no contact X. This individual, if they can say something to you, um, what would it be? Okay, or what the, would they say? Is it true? I heard you were dating someone. Is it true? I told you this person is still interested. <laughs> There's a level of interest here with this no contact X, okay, Taurus? So whether they want to admit it to themselves, whether they want to keep it quiet, whether they reminisce or they keep it in their mind or in their heart, there's something here connected to, um, like I said here, renewal, okay? They wish that things could shift and realign and adjust and improve so that there could be, for some of you, there's this sense here of wanting something new or wishing that they can tell you that you weren't mysterious after all, that perhaps it was their perception or their inability to connect or understand how you showed your love or showed your, showed how you cared right? It's like, for example, like when we have our caretakers or our parents or, you know, whomever, right? To care of us as children. And as a parent or as a caretaker, you may say something to your kids or to the, you know, to your kids or, or whatever. This is just an example. And as a child, you never understand the harshness of how something was said or the fact, you know, the, you know, the energy here, right. Of, of like taking care of someone and, 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 you know, some, sometimes it's, it's overbearing. Right. And as we, you know, when you get older, you're like, oh yeah, you know, my parents or my caretaker said that or did that or you know, this was done in a certain way, even though I didn't understand it at the time, even though I thought it was cold, it was rough, it was tough love, it wasn't right, or however the emotions may be, at the end, at the bottom foundation, there was love in some way, shape, or form. And it's as if this person could say, you know what, yes, you came across as mysterious, yes, I couldn't connect to that energy at times that you felt a little bit distant, but listening to the songs or reading the cards or reading the texts and the emails, I can see that now. Things are shifting, realigning, okay? Here with, is it true? I heard you were dating someone. Is it true? Please tell me it isn't. Again, there's something here about this no contact X that if they wish they could, um, 
give it another go at this relationship, they would. It, it, it's coming across twice that if they had the opportunity to go back and start from understanding these blockages, these old patterns of behavior, the fact that you showed your love in a way that they perhaps didn't understand or that seemed a little bit more practical or analytical, the fact that, you know, they still listen or look at or pay attention to your pictures or whatever. And some of them, interesting, some of them watch what you are still doing in social media. So if both of you are still following each other, there's a high, high percentage here that this person is looking at your social media or looking at clues to see if you are dating someone. Are you really by yourself? Are you still single? Is there or could there be a chance here? Spring is of importance here. So here, um, Taurus, the season of spring could uh, could be important here in some way, shape, or form. Um, spring is also, obviously, Taurus season, so that may be uh, in regards to that. But I'm getting here a new blossoming, a new cycle here. This person wishes that they could have a new cycle with you, um, whether this stood behind, so we'll put it here aside. Um, whether, you know, whether this is a desire, a yearning, or maybe when this person feels that there has been enough of a shift, enough of growth, or enough time spent, I'm even getting here, Taurus, when they, um, if this person is in a connection, there's something about their connection that's not like, the same as it was with you so maybe i don't know that could be here coming through here for you look at that i mean validation confirmation what does it say there taurus it says photograph remember still listening i said that it says you're looking at your fit pictures <laughs> i'm laughing because this is the same exact message it just channeled missing you nostalgia make new memories they wish they could make new memories with you Plain and simple, if this person wishes that they would, you know, you know, that they would have a second chance with you of some sorts here. Now, again, for some of them, it doesn't mean they're going to do it, but the desire is here, the energy is here, the intention is here, and I'm getting a quiet intention. I'm not getting something that's very you know, obvious or blunt or something that they want other people to know. So it's coming across very quietly. Looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Yeah, they wish that they could make new memories here with you. See, I'm not making this up. Validation confirmation. Part with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. What did I say? I told you. I want to see, look at that, healthy choices. I mean, basically the same exact thing I just channeled. Validation confirmation here, of course, with this person. All right, so let me wrap this up very quickly. So what I'm getting here, this person wishes that they can have a brand new start with you. Again, it's coming across as a wish, as a yearn, as a desire. Whether, whether or not they'll come back, that's a whole different storyline. But I'm definitely getting here someone who is at least open. Their heart is open to this shift, to this realignment, to things progressing to that type of renewal here. Healthy choices. And this, again, validation confirmation here of what I said. If they, if they could speak to you, they wish they could talk about how much how, how much they are either focused on their health how much things have progressed have improved how maybe those old patterns of behavior are managed better now how those blockages may not be as you know maybe how they cleared those blockages maybe those unhealthy habits especially with moderation here or selecting 
a healthier way of life. Healthy choices says, says here, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. And I feel this person could have cleared these blockages. And there's this energy here where this is probably, if you were to, I'm not saying this person will or that you will, or however this may, you know, pan out, but I'm, I, I feel here, if this person were to reach out to you and you were to rekindle this you know, connection again, if this person would make that move in order to do that, I feel that this would be a completely different person. There are things here that have been healed um, that perhaps were not healed or problems or solutions that were not solved here when you were together, but now they are either solved, they are, they have improved, conditions have improved, situations have been, are different, their mindset might be different, the conflicts, obstacles, challenges, whether internal or external, are not as either prevalent, they're not here anymore, or they're not, uh, or they're, they've been resolved. There's something here about a kind of like a, a, a brand new start here in regards to this person. Last but not least here, Taurus, let's see what else is coming through in regards to this person. For some of you, I'm getting spring. If this person were to reach out to you, and again, spring is different in different parts of the world because I know I have um, subscribers here who see me. I mean, many of you see me from different parts of the world. Some of you see me here from the United States. So whenever that spring cycle is or wherever you live, whatever, whichever that may be, here in the United States, it's around, um, I want to say uh, April around there, April, May. Um, but in other places, it could be other months, right? But whenever that cycle is, and I mean, this person could reach out to you around or make, make a con connection here or connect with you in some way, shape or form during a spring cycle or a spring season. Okay. Just throwing it out there just in case, cause there's just way too much energy here in regards to someone reminiscing so much that that could be a move here potentially. The energy is there, whether they do it or not is something else. Look at this. I mean, the one who waits and look what they have here holding. She has, now don't worry about the fact that I'm saying she, this is not a, about gender, but I'm just saying this person has a butterfly. They're holding a butterfly. There's a metamorphosis, a change, a shift here. Look at this. What did I say? If this person is thinking about this, they're not going to do it right away. If they come back, okay, or if they start planting seeds, and what, listen carefully, Taurus, what I mean by plant, planting seeds, it could be something as, you know, um, as you know, something as simple as sending a text, hey, are you okay? Or looking for the right opportunity where they can send you a message or reach out to you is how this is coming across. It's like an opportunity. And it's funny because it's coming across as this person is going to use an opportunity to get to speaking to you again if they act on it. Remember that I keep saying if they act on it, because this is the energy they're in at the time of this reading. They're waiting. They're waiting. It says patience, waiting, determination. There is a fire within them. There is a sense of fire in them. Now, listen, not only do, do they have spring here, but this looks like an autumn, like an autumn or fall type of um, picture here. So autumn or fall or spring three different um i'm sorry two different seasons i'm getting here the one who waits patience waiting determination they are determined there's something about their energy there's something about the yearning the thinking even if it happens on occasions but when it does it's deep and when it is it's it's telling about how they are feeling here and they wish they can tell you here that there's a part of them 
that it could be a part of them that's afraid to reach out, which is, you know, why they're, they're waiting. But for others of them, I'm feeling that they're waiting because there's the sense here of this waiting for the right opportunity or waiting for the right time. Some of them could be in a connection here. So maybe they, you know, they're kind of comparing and contrasting here, um, you know, with that energy. But yeah, that's what I'm getting here for you, Taurus. I hope these messages have been insightful. Sorry that it was so long. Don't forget to give me a, a, a like, share, or subscribe, and I'll see you soon.